Hello, everyone, and welcome, a very warm welcome to the Combine 24 Generative Art Competition webinar. My name is Anna Puhakka, and I am a community producer here at the Finnish National Gallery, and I will also be acting as the secretary for this competition. Uh, for the next hour or so, our program is combined of the next three presentations. First, we'll have Johanna Eiramo from the Finnish National Gallery, the director of the Digital Finnish National Gallery program, telling us a little bit more about the competition program as well as about the Finnish National Gallery. After which, we will have the um, co-founder and CEO of Highlight XYZ, Nat Emodi, who we are very, very excited to be partnering for this competition, come and tell you a little bit about how you can create your generative artwork for this competition. And last but definitely not least, we have Virva Salama, our legal counsel from the Finnish National Gallery, coming and telling us a little bit more in detail about the rules and conditions involved with this competition. Just as a little bit of housekeeping for <laughs> the beginning of this um, webinar, you will be able to send in your questions during the live version of this webinar into the chat. The chat is now open. Please feel free to submit your questions. Um, also, if you don't or you come up with questions uh, later on after this webinar is over or you're watching this as a replay afterwards, you can send it to the official Combine 24 competition um, web address, which is combine at fng.fi. You can find all of this information also on the competition website. And all of the answers and questions that you guys have posed, we will be posting them up onto the Frequently Asked Questions page in English. But um, we ask you that you send all of those questions by the 1st of May, so we have a good enough time to make sure that we've answered them way before the end of the competition. But without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, Johanna Eiramo, the director of the Digital Finnish National Gallery program, to come and tell you a little bit about the Finnish National Gallery and the competition program. Welcome, Johanna. Thanks, Anna. And hi, people online. Um, it is so exciting to be here today um, on the first day of submissions and, uh, and figure out what the generative art competition means for us all. Uh, my name is Johanna Eiramo, as Anna mentioned. I lead a team of eight people, eight professionals in the Digital Finnish National Gallery. And, uh, and our job is to figure out uh, what digital means in the, uh, in the museum realm. Uh, what can we do in the digital realm that um, touches people? Um, but today we are here for this uh, Web3 program. And I want to give a shout out, first of all, to Nat Amodi and the Highlight people for all the super... Um, uh, support that we've received from them, but also to my own crew, to the three people, or to the five people who work uh, in the Web3. There's Mikja, there's Hanno, there's Anna, there's Maria, and there's Alvar, who is online, I presume. So um, let's get going to the FNG, Finnish National Gallery. We are the biggest museum um, organization in Finland. We house the National um, Arts uh, Collection of Finland about 50,000 plus uh, works of art. Uh, we have three museums. Um, the first one, Ateneum Art Museum, was um, started or opened in 1887. Uh, the Sinebrikov Art Museum was opened in 1922, 21, excuse me. And uh, the Museum for Contemporary Art, Kiasma, was opened in 1998. So uh, a, ton of, uh, a ton of art is being showed in these three locations and we had the best ever year last year, uh, over 900,000 visitors. Um, if you think about Ateneum Art Museum in the 1880s, uh, in 1888, they had about, um, or we had about 10,000 visitors. So it's been quite a reach since then. And, uh, and quite central to what we're here uh, today is the 27 plus thousand um, artworks or images of artworks that have been released on the CZ0 license. Very crucial to, to this um, competition. I uh, also want to uh, me, um, remind us that um, our mission is to develop the Finnish cultural heritage and to make art accessible, and this is one of the ways that we, that we do it. Um, 
as far as this competition goes, we receive no financial gains from it, and uh, not even from the sales of the artworks eventually when that happens. And, uh, and we're not committing to buying any of those artworks. But the most important stuff, the brief, the, the competition itself. Um, we would love for you to take a deep dive into our CC Zero licensed artworks and, uh, and see what entices you. Uh, we want you to create a new piece of generative art. And by generative art, we refer to works that use an algorithm that is governed by an artist-defined rules and parameters and that generates dynamic variations. Please, please, read the rules and regulations. They're very precise and we live by those. The collection itself um, is, is uh, bigger than the 27,000 that you'll be able to use for, for the competition. Images that are marked with the CC0 um, uh, mark are available for public use beyond this competition, uh, including commercial use, so that's what CC0 means. Um, while we house the biggest Finnish art uh, collection, it's um, good of you to know that uh, we also have some incredibly beautiful international uh, artworks by renowned artists such as Vincent van Gogh or Edvard Munch or um, Paul, Paul Gauguin, to, to name a few. Um, the collection includes paintings, sculptures, sketches, photographs, letters, and a ton of different kinds of documents. I'm sure there'll be so much interesting things to, to uh, go through and uh, figure out what it means to you. Uh, when you go and uh, fetch the data, we strongly recommend that you use the full dump of the metadata. There is an API, but um, we're not sure if external dependency, uh, sorry, pardon me. The API may not be able to scale well under demand, and using the full dump ensures that there are no external dependencies within the project source code. Um, this is also something that is uh, supported by Highlight. Now, the conditions of the, uh, uh, of the art competition are as follows. You, the artwork must be created by a natural person or persons. It has to be new and it cannot be minted. I want to underscore this because this is uh, something that can get you disqualified if it is minted bef before. It should meet the tech requirements set out by Highlight, and it should uh, have a detailed description of the artwork's concept and explain how it works in conjunction with the collection's data. And it needs to be created on the Highlight platform and linked from there to the submission form. Um, again, read the rules and regulations. The evaluation, the artworks will be evaluated according to their artistic and technical quality, how innovatively they use the Finnish National Gallery's collection data, and how strong the concept is in, re in uh, relation to that collection data. The shortlist committee will select 10 shortlisted artworks to, complete, uh, to compete for the prizes. The winner of the first and the second prize are selected by an international competition jury. The audience fav favorite will be voted between the 1st of September and the 1st of o October, this current year, 2024. And the first prize is funded by the Finnish Innovation Fund, CITRA. Uh, big shout out and a thank you to our friends at CITRA. I have had the immense um, pleasure to discuss with all of our competition jury and shortlist committee members, and I can tell you that they are going to do a fantastic job with, uh, with going through the artworks that are coming through the submissions. Um, a big shout out and a thank you to Martin Grasser, Melissa Wiederich, uh, Diana Velasco, Levi Hapala, and Luca Piscoret, but also to Linda Dunia, uh, Sofia Garcia, Licia Hay, Jonas Toivonen, and Emily Z. We're really, really looking forward to working with you guys, and thank you for jumping on board with, to this competition, which is our first and, uh, and our first collaboration with all of you. Timetable starts today. Today is the first day of submissions. Submissions will end on the 31st of May, a minute before midnight. Uh, short list of announcements will be made on the 5th of August in 2024 on the competition website. 
we will have a physical exhibition here in Helsinki in September, October for about uh, six weeks. We hope everyone can join us. And uh, the audience favorite will be voted uh, from September 1st to October 1st. And winners of all the three categories will be announced in early October. The participation deadline, as I mentioned, is a minute before midnight on May 31st. Um, please take a look at the submission form online. And I think it's uh, super important to remember that um, the submission form cannot be saved and it cannot be corrected afterwards. So get everything that you need to, to, um, to be online for the submission. Make sure you have everything, press send, and then all will be well. We're really, really looking forward to, to all the submissions um, and especially grateful for you taking your time and, uh, and taking a look at our collection and, uh, and thinking how it inspires you and, and what, what it brings forward to your artistic mind. I can't wait to see uh, the artworks that are coming through. I wish you the best of luck and, uh, and thank you for hopping on to this um, generative art competition. Back to Anna. Thank you, Johanna. Um, next, we are joined by Nat Emodi, who has graciously created a wonderful How to Create Your Generative Artwork on Highlight. Nat is the co-founder and CEO of Highlight XYZ, who is our partner for this uh, competition. And without further ado, I will let Nat tell you a little bit more about Highlight and how to create your work. Hi there, my name is Nat Emodi, and I'm the founder of Highlight.xyz, and I'm incredibly excited uh, to be partnering with the Finnish National Gallery on Combine 24. We are a generative art platform, and I'm going to give a quick walkthrough today on how you can create a generative art project for Combine 24 as your submission. To get started, just go to highlight.xyz slash tools, and you'll see this page. We are creating a generative series for Combine 24. So all you need to do is click generative series to get going. The process of creating a generative art project requires you to write code, of course, and you'll need to include some specific functions and methods in your code to ensure that it works properly and can be deployed to a blockchain. The way that you can do that is linked here. So you'll see we have a big link on the page I was just at to our documentation. And here we'll walk through in lots of detail how exactly to create a generative art project on Highlight. The main thing to know is that you will need to include our script, the hl-gen.js script. And then within our documentation, you'll find all the information you need on how to create methods for generating randomness in your art if you want to, uh, how to access different pieces of data on the blockchain, methods for setting metadata, things like traits or attributes, custom names or descriptions that you want to include on each of your tokens, and different methods for capturing the preview images that you'll need for your project. We also have an example project here, which you can see, and the example project is something that you can take a look at. You could view our code and use that as a starting point for what you're creating for Combine 24. So what I've done is just taken an example project and uploaded it here into the window. This will take just a moment to unzip and then we can view the rest of the steps that you'll need. So this is all looking good. Here's all my files. Here's the HL gen script that I just mentioned. Now we'll go to the next step. This is a tool for uh, previewing your project, making sure that it looks the way you expect it to in the viewport. You can reload this uh, an infinite number of times and this will help ensure that you've set up your project correctly and it's displaying correctly. If you're using different data inputs in your project, then you can just cycle through those inputs here 
to ensure that the dynamics with different hypothetical data are working as you expect. We'll move on to the next step. You'll see here you have options for the size of your project. You can either limit this to a specific size, say 100 tokens, or you can just make it an open edition. If you choose to limit it, here we'll say we want there to be 100 tokens in our project. You can also curate the output. And curating the output means instead of it being a fully random uh, style of uh, creating your artwork, where something like the transaction hash is going to seed a random set of variables within your script. Instead, with this approach, you can choose to select different outputs that you want, and you would add the number of hashes that uh, you have set for the total number of tokens in your project. So if it's a 100-piece collection, you would need to select 100 hashes. You can also select those manually. So if you're developing your project on your local computer, instead of using our interface, you can also input those here. In any case, I'm going to make this an open edition for now, and we'll keep going. The next step is to make sure that the preview images that we generate for your project match what's displayed at the iframe. The preview images are what's shown on different marketplaces and other websites and apps, and you want your work to be represented correctly. So we, we really encourage you to test carefully and make sure that the preview images that we're going to capture as people mint your project uh, are a true reflection of what the actual artwork looks like. There's a bunch of details here, which are also described in our documentation. So let's keep going. Now, we're on our testnet or mainnet selection uh, choice here. For Combine 24, you only need to deploy to a testnet. Deploying to testnets is completely free, and I'll describe how this works. But note that you do not need to deploy a project to mainnet in order to enter the competition. You have the choice, with testnet selected, between deploying to either the Ethereum Sepolia testnet or the Base Sepolia testnet. Base is a layer two blockchain which sits on top of Ethereum. It's cheaper and it's faster than Ethereum, but either of these options work. If you haven't used an Ethereum based testnet before, you should know that you'll need a uh, type of testnet Ethereum or Ether as a currency. So you do have to, uh, you do have to use this uh, test currency to deploy your project but this currency is completely free to claim. Anyone can claim it. There's details on how to get this test uh, ether, uh, either for Ethereum or for base. If you just click this link here, we can point you in the right direction. The next step is to name your collection, provide a description, uh, give a name for your smart contract, add a logo image. And here, it's very important for me to note that to ensure the competition is fair, please do not add any identifying details in your collection name, your description, your contract, or elsewhere. We want the judging to be fair and blind so that judges do not know who has created each of the, uh, each of the submissions for the contest. So please do not add your name, do not add any other identifying details here. Now here, uh, combine 24 tests. I'll just put this in here and testing. This is the smart contract. That's the underlying container on the blockchain that my project will be deployed under. And here's a symbol, which is just a detail that you could add. Now I'm going to upload an image just as a uh, placeholder as we go through this this will take a moment to upload and then I'll move to the next step now this is a submission for the contest it's not for sale but you can put in details here uh, 
if you'd like, uh, set the price to zero, or you could set it as some small price if you'd like. Anyone who mints from your testnet project would do so with this uh, free testnet ether. So there's really no purpose in putting a price here, even though people who do mint will need to pay testnet gas. For your mint start date and end date, you can keep it open so it can start whenever you're ready for it to deploy. You don't need to put an end date. You can keep this open. And then there's a few other details here which aren't relevant to the submission but might be relevant in the future if you want to create a collection and offer it for sale. All right, it looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to deploy my collection. I have a uh, wallet extension. I'm using MetaMask, uh, and this allows me to deploy my collection. I'm doing it on the base Sepolia network, and I have some testnet ether for base Sepolia. My data has been uploaded to Arweave, which is a decentralized file storage network. I've just signed the transaction. Now I'm waiting for confirmation. Perfect. Looks like everything's good. Now here I have two options. I can manage my collection. So if I press this button, I can manage everything here. You'll see there's many options on uh, editing sale prices, on duplicating the collection if I choose to move it to a mainnet uh, project, perhaps in the future. Uh, but the main thing to know is that you want to view your mint page and here's mine and here it is this is my project so this is the details i've added this can be minted now using that test ether on the uh, sepolia network and i can cycle through all the different variations of my artwork here I can view it uh, full screen. I can open it a new window. And this page that we're looking at, this public mint page, and this URL up here, highlight.xyz slash mint, and then this ID, this is what you'll need to submit your project to Combine24. Uh, and so with that, I would say uh, this is a, a quick overview of our project. But if you have any questions at all, you can visit the Combine24 website. You'll find there's lots of information here in different languages. And there is a uh, video recording of this webinar, as well as detailed FAQs, which you can read through. You can also contact uh, the Finnish National Gallery at combine at consalisgalleria.fi or I think combine at fng.fi as well and please do so by May 1st to ensure you can uh, get support for your submission before the competition deadlines. With that, thank you so much again for uh, your participation in Combine 24. I can't wait to see what you create and uh, it's going to be fun to see uh, so many people creating generative art uh, for all to see. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nat, for that very informative um, tutorial or how to on generative art. Um, next. On our program, we have Virva Salama, who is the legal counsel for the Finnish National Gallery. And she will be telling you about the competition rules and the conditions uh, next. And without further ado, welcome Virva. Thank you, Anna. Uh, well, first of all, I'm really excited about the, about the competition. Mm. And now I will share with you some of the legal details related to the competition that you should know. It's a very brief, um, brief um, go through, so uh, please read carefully all of the competition program and rules. Uh, first of all, about Finnish National Gallery. 
We are a non-profit public foundation established by the Finnish Na National Gallery Act, so we operate under the Finnish laws. Accordingly, the competition is governed by the Finnish laws also. Uh, the English is the official language. Oops, sorry. English is the official language of the competition, and should there be any discrepancies between the in, uh, language versions uh, of the program and rules, the English version will prevail. And also, all of the submissions should be made in English only. And uh, to participate in Combine 24, you must be at least 18 years of age, uh, a natural person or a group of natural persons. And that naturally means that uh, companies, associations or other establishments cannot participate in the competition. Also, uh, the participant cannot be subject to international sanctions or other ex exclusion criteria, uh, which are explained in more detail in the beginning of the program and in the rules. And about the generative artworks, they must be uh, the result of creative work of the participant submitting the work to the competition. And the artwork must be new and non-infringing. With new, we mean that uh, you, uh, you cannot have been exhibited, published or shown uh, the uh, artwork elsewhere. And uh, non-infringing naturally means that you cannot use copyrighted material in a way that violates the copyright laws or rights of others. And upon submission, remember to include all of the information we require. Uh, more about copyright and ownership. We have a very important rule in the competition. No plagiarism is accepted. Uh, and when creating the artwork, use the copyright-free material, materials of uh, Finnish National Gallery, not the copyrighted material. Also, uh, when submitting the artwork in Combine 24, uh, the, the submitter must also hold all of the copyrights. Uh, and naturally, uh, when it comes to ownership, uh, the participants remain the owners of all the artworks and all copyrights. About the exhibition, there are three prizes in the competition, as mentioned earlier, and we will offer no other compensations or pay other fees, charges or remuneration for participation. Please note that when it comes to prizes, the tax exemption is valid only to those who are subject to Finnish taxation. And after the selection of phase two works are made and until the end of the exhibition, the Finnish National Gallery, Gallery reserves the right to use the materials related to the selected works for communication and marketing pur purposes of the competition. And uh, one more very important thing. Let's keep the competition fair and unbiased. That means that you shouldn't contact directly the shortlist committee or the jury members or the secretary of the competition in any matters related to the uh, Combine 24 competition. Thank you so much for your attention and good luck. And I give this stage back to Anna. Thank you. Thank you, Virva. Okay, we have done this uh, webinar in actual record time, which I am very excited about. Just a few little things before we uh, sign off on this uh, live feed. Just a reminder that submissions are open right now. You can find them on the Combine 24 uh, website, there is the submission button. You will also be able to find all of the uh, competition program and rules 
uh, to download on that web page. You can find them in Finnish, in English, and in Swedish. And as Birva said, the English is the prevailing version if there are any discrepancies between them. Um, there is also a link to watch this webinar again, if you so choose, uh, on that website, as well as a link to the Frequently Asked Questions website where you can read what other people have asked, our answers, and all of those will be posted in English. And any questions that you send us, we will go through them and endeavor to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, as Virba said, uh, please be in contact through the Frequently Asked Questions website on the combine at uh, fng.fi email, but please do not directly contact the absolutely amazing um, shortlist committee and competition jury that we have um, gotten for this competition. And all of those questions must be sent in by the 1st of May, so we have time to answer them in time well before the end of the competition. From my part and from the Finnish National Gallery, we would very much like to thank our partners, particularly highlight um, the for partnering with us for this wonderful competition, as well as to CIPRA for funding one of the first prize. And I would like to extend a big thank you also to the uh, Next Generation EU Fund who has funded our Web3 project in the Digital National Finnish National Gallery program. Thank you very much. I wish you all good luck, and I can't wait to read uh, all your questions, answer them, and see all the works. Thank you very much. <laughs>